What's good, YouTube? That one eight two here, back again, once again. I've literally tried to record this video five times now. I keep fucking up one way or another. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. I want to make sure I was recording before I continued. Uh, but I have an update of sorts for you guys regarding our Don't Be a Liability t-shirt campaign that ended about a month ago. Over the past couple of days, a lot of you guys have just started recently getting your shirts. Uh, they came through and everyone's been tweeting them at me and they look awesome. You guys look absolutely amazing and then I'm glad so many of you guys wanted to go out and help support not only the UCL but the Tucson Trackdowns as well. It means so, so much to me. But there's one teeny tiny little problem. T-Chip didn't print the shirts correctly and that rustles my jimmies. Now I wanted to wait until I received my own t-shirt and are you, are you actually doing this? She's actually doing this right now. Are you actually playing in the middle of this damn video? Are you really? Are you really? But, like I said, I wanted to wait until I actually received my own shirts to verify and guarantee make sure it wasn't just one or two people that ended up getting shirts incorrect. And unfortunately, T-Chip did print the shirts wrong. As you can see, Liability's mouth is the same shade of purple as his stomach, which isn't supposed to be purple at all. Uh, the most obvious part is all the stripes on his body that are supposed to be black are actually gray, which makes no sense to me because you got the black correct on his eyes, so why is the black wrong on his body? Uh, the text is a little bit of a faded gray. It's not exactly the, the white it's supposed to be. I mean, it's, it, I, guess it, I guess it actually is white compared to the gray on his tail, so it's white there. Uh, so there's just a few different things that are incorrect with the printing on the shirt and I wanted to wait before I actually did this video uh, I wanted to wait until I actually heard back from teach it because the first day that I saw they were printed incorrectly I messaged them and I let them know that hey these shirts are printed incorrectly Is there any way that we can get them reprinted because this is just wrong and they said yes you have to go and fill out a claim regarding your order and Submit it and it should be processed and shirts should be sent back or whatever your order was, whether you ordered a shirt or a hoodie or a shirt and a hoodie, you should get your order resent perfectly fine, free of charge. So if you purchase a shirt, you don't have to worry, you don't have to pay anything else, you already paid for your shirt, they were printed incorrectly, they will be reprinted and sent to you. The only problem with it now is that everyone who bought a shirt has to fill out a claim individually. And I messaged them, I emailed them back again, and I said, this is kind of ridiculous. Am I really supposed to have 900 people fill out claims individually and they said that's the only way to do it they, they said they petitioned their higher-up executives about having an easier way to do it but they vetoed that and said that the only way to, to get your shirts reprinted is to go and file it individually to me it would make more sense to just have everyone that got uh, that order from the campaign to have their shirts reprinted and shipped out to them but no that's not how it's done so what you guys need to do if you order a don't be a liability t-shirt Look in the description below. There will be all the information that you need down there. Copy and paste all the reasoning that I provided. The only thing that I can't provide you with that you already have is your order confirmation number. If you ordered a shirt from the campaign, you should have an email that has your order confirmation number on it. Copy and paste that into the place uh, that, you, that you need to on the claim. Fill out the claim, it'll take you all of like 30 seconds and you'll be good to go. So, again, if you already ordered a Don't Be a Liability t-shirt, don't have to pay anything else. Do not have to pay anything else. Just follow the link in the description, fill out the claim, uh, they'll email you again regarding your claim and everything, and the shirts should be reprinted, hopefully correctly this time, and everything will be good to go. So I apologize for the delay, I apologize for the hassle as well. Uh, this kind of sort of sucks because this was a big event for us on the channel, you know, UCL was a huge thing. So many people came out and supported it. Uh, the Tucson Terrakians going as far as they did in the season and now us celebrating by, by promoting one of the prominent members of the team and everything like that. It just sucks that this ended up happening. But the shirts will be reprinted free of charge. No stress. Don't worry. Aside from the obvious color issue, the shirts actually came out really, really great. Shout out to Kuro. She's a proud member of the Nappy Nation that actually did the design for us. She did the Tucson Terrakians logo as well. Uh, but this, it actually looks really fucking sick on a shirt. Aside from the coloring issues, the, the actual image itself looks really fucking sick on a shirt. So I'm very, very happy with the way it came out. It's just, we need to get the colors fixed. <laughs> we need to get the colors fixed. And hopefully, those of you guys that did scoop up a Don't Be a Liability t-shirt, you will follow the claim uh, in the description, get it filled out, and get it sent to you. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is a choice scarf around his neck. It's because he's Scarf Moxie. He's crushing everything in front of him. God damn it. I love the design. You guys don't know. I absolutely love the design. But... 
One last time, make sure you follow the link in the description. Fill out a claim if you bought a shirt or a hoodie or anything else, and uh, they will be resent to you, hopefully print printed correctly. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be using T-Chip again after this because this kind of really sullies the experience, but we'll see what ends up happening with the reprint process. So again, I apologize. Uh, this is really kind of a, a, a wrench in the plans and everything, but I am very, very happy and thankful that there were so many of you guys that actually did go out and support the team and school up a shirt and uh, whatnot. So I apologize, but thank you so much for your support and uh, thank you for your patience as well dealing with this. But with that, I'm gonna get up out of here. There should be some UCL news coming your way, you guys. Maybe sometime later this week. Wink, wink. If you're not following the UCL Twitter, you definitely should. Link to that is included in the description as well. But with that, I'm gonna get up out of here. Hopefully, I got the video right this time. God damn it.